Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. This is module 5 of first grade. Write your name here first. And writing down the time shown on the clock or draw the missing hands on the clock. So different boxes with different things. We just do what is missing. So this here it tells us the time, 10 o'clock, and we need to draw the clock hands. At 10 o'clock, our minute hand, which Here's my memory key that I always mention. The word minute is longer than the word hour. So the minute hand is longer than the hour hand. And when you're drawing clock hands, be careful. Your minute hand should touch the numbers, so it's going to go there. But your hour hand doesn't. Your hour hand is going to be shorter than that. So your hour hand says 10 o'clock. So your minute hand, it's o'clock means that your minute hand is going to be touching the 12. Your hour hand is going to be pointing towards the 10, which is right here. So my hour hand is just going to go like that. Long enough so that you can see what direction it's going in, but not so long that it actually touches the number. You want to see the difference between the two hands when you draw them. Uh, now, half past 10 o'clock. So half past means we're thinking about half of the clock. Half of the minutes that have gone by in that hour of 10 o'clock is 30 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. And that means we already have the hour hand here. You can tell because it's not touching the numbers. It's not long enough to touch the numbers. It's in between the 10 and the 11, so it's right halfway in between 10 and 11. So the minute hand we have to draw down to the 6 because that's half of the way around the clock. Eight o'clock. So eight o'clock, we already have our minute hand. You can tell it's the minute hand because it's actually up there touching the number 12. And now we need to just point our hour hand to the eight. And sometimes it's easier to start where you want it to end and draw it back to the middle. That's kind of an easier way to get it straight and to make sure it doesn't end up being too long. And now here we have a time that you see our hour hand is the short one. That one there. That is halfway in between the 6 and the 7. So that means it's after 6 o'clock. But it's also, you see the minute hand is touching the 6, which means it's half, it's gone halfway around. Right? Starting from the 12, it's gone halfway around already, so it's half past what some people call the top of the hour. We call it the top of the hour because, well, that's where the minute hand points at the beginning of the hour to the top of the clock. At least that's what I always thought that meant. So this is after 6, so it's but it's half past 6, so it's... Half past six o'clock. Three o'clock, and now we need to draw the hour hand and the minute hand. So it's just three o'clock, so it's straight up to the 12. So I'm going to start at the 12 and go back to the middle. And then the three is going to be, we'll make it about halfway between the middle, the center of the, of the clock face, and the number right about there. Three o'clock. And now half past three o'clock, you can see this has to be the hour hand right here because that's in between the three and the four, which would be halfway after three and on its way to four, right in the middle between three and four. And half past for the minute hand is going to be, remember that half of the clock face, right? So that means we're, we're going to need to go down to the six. And this is a minute hand, so we want it to be long starting at the number straight up to the middle like that and that's half past three o'clock and now two o'clock right here you can see the hour hand is at the two the minute hand is the long hand so the hour hand is the one that tells you what o'clock it is that's the short one it's pointing at the two so it's two o'clock
it's ordinary. It's, it uh, happens a lot in the beginning when you're trying to tell time on on analog clocks or round clock faces. And uh, it's just mixing up the hour hand and the minute hand. And just you remember, use that memory key. The longer hand is the minutes. And just remember minutes and hours. The o'clock is the hour. Half past six o'clock. So that's it. We want our, our hand is going to be pointing at the six. So we want it. our hand is a short one. So that's going to be, yeah, about halfway or so to the six and then back up to the middle. And then half past means it's going to be the minute hand is going to be on the right touching the number, but it's going to be on the on the six also because that's 30 minutes halfway around the clock face. So we're going to draw end up drawing both of them on top of each other. It's just going to look like that. There's no other way to draw it. And then half past nine o'clock, we can see this must be the hour hand here because it doesn't touch the numbers. So it's in halfway in between the nine and the 10. So that means because it's half past, right? So it's halfway on its way to 10 right in the middle between 9 and 10. So we need it to go, our minute hand has to be on the 6 when it's half past. So we're going to start right here down where the 6 is and go right up to the middle there. So usually the minute hand won't cover the numbers because you still want to be able to read the numbers and see the numbers. So they usually it'll go right to the where the numbers are, but it won't go past them and cover them up. Uh, it's okay if yours when you draw them if yours do. 4 o'clock. We're just drawing clock hands it's not it doesn't have to be perfect you just want it to look right so four o'clock that's just straight up o'clock the minute hand is going to go to the 10 the 12 i mean sorry so right up here straight down and then four o'clock the hour hand goes to the four the hour hand is not going to be as long as the minute hand so it's going to start right about there and go right back to the middle four o'clock and now uh, we matching pictures with the clocks uh, let's see what we have here. We have a lot of digital times. And analog clock faces to match up. Um, so it might be helpful to just look at these analog clocks and write down what all the times are. And then it'll be easy to match up to match up the, uh, the digital times. So just let's just practice reading them and write in, writing them, writing them down so it'll be easy to match them up. Uh, this right, this clock right here. I can see the minute the minute hand is touching the six, so it's going to be thirty minutes. We know that's thirty minutes, and the hour is in between the five and the six, so we know it's half. Half we already know it's half past something, so it's and it's in between the five and the six, which means it's halfway in between five and six, which means it's still five. It's not six yet, so it's five thirty. And here we have our hand. It's right in the middle between the three and the four, which means it's still three, plus some minutes, but it's not four yet. Now you might think that when we uh, when we measure things with a ruler. Uh, sometimes we, we always say like it, it goes to the closest number, but clocks are not like that. Uh, clocks are different than rulers. We don't always, we never round up with clocks. Uh, so we're always looking at it's still three plus we look at the minute hands to see how far after three it is. It's 30 minutes after three o'clock. This already has 630. This one is in between the four and the five for the hour hand that's the shorthand and so that means it's four o'clock and this tells us here that it's 30 minutes because that's halfway around half past is 30 minutes and then here we have it looks like just one big line but you can tell sometimes the the hour hand is a little bit wider but remember you can tell this is the hour hand because it doesn't go all the way to the number so it's the shorter hand that's the hour hand it's pointing at the six so it's not two. This could be either you looking at this. It could be twelve thirty, or it could be six o'clock. Well, you can see where the, which one is the hour hand because that's the one that's shorter. Uh, so it's six is the hour. 
and the minute hand goes up to the 12, which means it's double zeros for the minutes. And then here we have our hour hand is in between the 7 and the 8, so that means it's 7 o'clock. And the minute hand down to the 6 tells us 30 minutes. 7.30. All right, so now we can match them up. Soccer practice is 3.30. Where's our 3.30? It's right here, so these two match up. Brush teeth at 7.30. 7.30 is down here, so way down here to match that one up. Wash dishes at 6 o'clock. Here's our 6 o'clock. There. Eat dinner at 5.30. 5.30 is way up here, so there's 5 30 and take the bus home at 4 30. here's 4 30 right here and half past six o'clock for doing homework half past six o'clock is remember half halfway around the clock there's 60 minutes is a whole hour so half of 60 is 30 so that's 6 30 is half past so six hours and 30 six o'clock and 30 minutes there.